everyone, welcome back for another YouTube video. Today's video is going to be all about Q&A's. So I asked on Instagram what you guys wanted to know about me or questions that you've always wanted to ask but I've not really answered or, well yeah, I just never answered. <laughs> I got quite a few questions from yourselves on Instagram. So I kind of categorized them into like different sections that I can like read off the sheet. I have four sections. One, general questions about myself. The second one is all about travel. The third one is about streaming. And then the last one is like goals and things things for the future. Rather than making this video absolutely insanely long, I'm going to get straight into it. So one of the most common questions, I get asked this all the time on my stream, I get asked all the time on my Instagram too, how tall am I? I'm actually five foot nine, so I think that's 175 centimeters for people that use centimeters. I'm pretty tall for a girl. My eye color is dark blue. <laughs> I'm going to get really close. So dark blue with black all around it. How old am I? Actually, it was my birthday yesterday. So today is the 31st of January. My birthday was yesterday the 30th and I'm 27 years old, which feels so weird to say because I do not feel 27 and I blame the C word, no, not the swear word, the, the illness C word because I lost two slash three years of my life. So technically I'm like 25. Where am I from? I'm originally from England in Yorkshire. My accent is different because I've worked online for a really long time now and people did not understand the Yorkshire accent at all. So now my accent is hybrid, but I currently live in Dubai. Okay, so a common question and a lot of people want to know is where is Keo slash Fabian? So me and Fabian broke up around a year ago. I'm not really public when it comes to changes in relationships. I don't think it's something that I necessarily always want to talk about. And nor do I think it's like that important for other people to know when they don't know the circumstances. Um, but we broke up like a year ago and we're still close and we still speak all the time. We just stopped growing as a couple and it just, we were like just arguing about things that didn't need to be argued about and we just wanted to have different things for the future. Um, so basically our plans didn't align, but I really do wish like the best for him and I really do wish like everything will go well and I always will like root for him and he will always root for me and we'll always have that love for each other, but it just didn't work. But yeah, we've been separated for around a year now, but I just obviously I'm not the sort of person to announce to the world like everything, you know, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird to kind of show and talk about it, you know, so that's why. Why I moved to Dubai? Well, I guess that partially comes into it. So obviously me and my partner broke up then. I wasn't really ready to move back to England because I know once I move to England, I will never move again. Like that will be like my home home. And I just needed time to figure out who I was as my own person, not just with my, with Fabian. I needed to figure stuff out for myself, learn to like live alone and live in a place that I'm not really used to and I needed that challenge I think for myself because I'm just not ready to fully settle because there's so much things that I need to learn. <laughs> How long am I planning to stay in Dubai? So a minimum of two years so I have a visa here for three years but I think two to three years is probably the maximum that I'm gonna stay here. I haven't brought a lot of things with me to Dubai. I, I have got my computer because obviously that's my work, but primarily I have one suitcase of clothing and then the rest is electrical stuff. So I don't have that many things to move. So if I ever do need to move country, it's gonna be fairly easy just to pack my things in a suitcase and go. My career plan. So my career, I am currently a streamer and content creator. I feel really weird saying that, I'm not gonna lie. But I play video games on stream and I do other games as well, live stream, whatever. Uh, I've been doing that for nearly eight years now. So I have been in the industry for a really long time. And to be honest, I really, really do like it. I do want to venture out more into YouTube just for flexibility purposes and to like spice things up because obviously I've been doing streaming for such a long time but I would like to involve travel and streaming a lot more which is something that I'm going to be talking about later. And uh, talking about social media, why am I not active on Instagram? So one thing I don't really talk about that much is I can get kind of anxious 
don't really like people being mean. I know that's ridiculous and I know I've been on Twitch for a long time, so I can handle the Twitch community perfectly fine, but when it comes to Instagram, I feel a lot more, I feel like there's a lot of judgment all the time, no matter what I do. Um, so when, when I was a model, I was thinner, I was a lot more leaner, I didn't eat that much just so that I could stay thin. And then when I gained weight, if I posted a picture, people are like, oh my gosh, she's gained weight, which would make me feel bad sometimes. And it just really got to me that people would constantly comment on things that I was working on myself because I had an eating disorder for quite a long time. So like people talking about my body kind of triggered some stuff in me. And I just get nervous about what people think about me. And I know I shouldn't care, but that's primarily why I don't post on Instagram because I just want to be accepted for who I am and that, that's kind of it because I'm just really simple and I just want people to be happy but I guess if you don't want to follow me you don't have to follow me but it's something I'm going to work on. Okay so the next one is traveling. So traveling is something that I've been really passionate about for I guess the last couple of years is something that I really want to do more of and see the world. People ask me like, how do you afford to travel? Are you rich? No, I'm not. I'm just kind of smart with my money. I don't spend my money on, I don't smoke. I have the occasional drink and if I drink, I usually buy it for my house and I'll drink at home. I don't really buy alcohol in restaurants because it's expensive. I don't eat out that much, shop pretty cheap. So like wherever I can save money, I will save money. The money that I do save, I pretty much spend it on traveling or savings and then the savings get spent on traveling. That's like my weak, not weakness, but that's the thing that I love to spend my money on. Everybody has their own thing. Like a lot of people like to, a lot of people in Dubai, they love to go to brunches. They love to go to beach parties and spend their money on like alcohol and clubbing. For me, that's not what I care about a lot. For me, it's experiences and seeing different cultures and countries. Okay, some people were asking like some locations that I want to visit. People have asked me if I want to visit India. I do want to visit India and there's so much culture and stuff in India so it's some place I do want to travel to and since I live so close now I should definitely make a trip of it and it would probably be something that I plan to do either later this year or maybe next year but India is somewhere that I would love to travel to. Uh, will I visit Mexico or have I visited Mexico? I've been to Mexico two times, really loved it, it's probably one of my favourite places that I've ever visited. It's just beautiful and the people are nice and the food oh the food the food is so good i plan on going to mexico again this year and it's been a while so i'm thoroughly excited people have also asked about south america south america has been a dream of mine to go to there's so many beautiful countries i don't speak spanish i do want to learn and i want to get better at it because i'm not perfect when it comes to speaking spanish i i literally understand nada <laughs> I will work my way to getting to asking basic questions uh, before I would travel there, I think. And I would want to travel with somebody that is fluent Spanish so that they can help me when it comes to like the traveling and the going to different places. South America would be like a whole experience. I think I'd want to go there for like a month and just go from like place to place. Yeah, like that would be absolutely amazing. And I would definitely love to go. Okay, so where am I visiting this year? This year, I am going to go to England, which I'm going to England soon to see my family, and that's mostly for work. I'm going to Thailand, April time. I'm so excited for greenery and nature. Mexico, I'm supposed to have a family trip later on this year, so like our first full family vacation. I don't know how that's gonna go. I think there's gonna be a lot of arguments, but I think it will be really, really, really fun. But yeah, that's what I've got planned. Things might change, but these are like the things that I think pretty much will happen. And then any advice for traveling? Well, this year is gonna be different for me. So I'm going to try and do backpacking. Not necessarily like going someplace for like a month, 
but instead of traveling with a suitcase I want to start traveling with a backpack and packing lighter so just bringing clothes that will be useful and clothes that will be comfortable to travel around in and spend less on like hotels and spend less don't have to have, then check in your luggage so I'm gonna start trying to backpack more I usually like to travel with somebody else when it comes to backpacking because then you can split like the room bills and you also have somebody to experience all these things with but talking about that there is some things that I've been looking at about solo traveling and then you join a group of people and then you travel around with that group of people which is something I'm kind of interested interested in because I will be going on my own but I'll be meeting new people at the same time so there's a lot of companies that provide that um, system if you want to travel but you don't technically want to be alone you can just join these groups and then travel around all their itinerary that they've planned so that's something that I would recommend and I can link a couple of the websites below that you can do that with okay so the next section is all about streaming <laughs> how do I afford to live from streaming so I've been doing streaming for eight years and two months so at the beginning I was working two jobs at university and I'm at night time I streamed I basically did not sleep <laughs> I was just full on gamer and I was infatuated with it and I've always played video games so finding out that I could have a computer and online friends made the addiction way worse and I just could not stop gaming getting partnership with twitch so it's a lot harder to get partnership back in the day and I would live with that money I know there's some streamers that make a lot of money through streaming for me I make a good enough amount of money to be able to afford my bills, pay for my food, and then I can save whatever is left for, like I said, travel or just personal funds for the future. Since I was able to establish my brand and branding for these like fair few years, I now work with different brands. For example, I hosted a stream for Vans, I worked with Lenovo, and now I'm a brand ambassador for MSI laptops. So I'm able to work with other brands and create content for other companies. Uh, so that's kind of like the side thing that I do apart from streaming. So then both together, I'm able to make a comfortable income. IRL streams. So IRL streams are something that I do want to do more of and I really do enjoy them. I did one in Italy with Mira when I went there before and it was super successful and people absolutely loved it. Very tiring and I definitely need another person to do it with. It's just so much work to be able to travel and pee and <laughs> everything when you're live streaming on your own. So I think it's good to have a person to do that with and I will maybe look for somebody that would like to do IRL streams and travel at the same time. But since I want to visit different countries, I probably will stream in that country if I can get good enough data that doesn't cost too much. And then I can do more live streams and bring my gaming laptop with me and then stream from wherever I am in the world. My favorite game of all time. I don't really have one. I have different genres of favorite games. I love Animal Crossing because I played that as a child. Sims, I love that because I played as a child. Okay, recently I enjoyed Cyberpunk a lot. Cyberpunk was probably one of my favorite games ever. Like, I really did enjoy the playthrough. It was super fast paced, which I love. GTA it has a soft spot in my heart because my dad grew me up on GTA. Probably not the best game to be growing up on, but it was really good. I would say these four were like my favorite games in general. So I got asked if I'm gonna go to like TwitchCon, if I'm gonna go to like um, some CSGO tournaments and things like that. I don't plan on going to any gaming tournaments this year. I wanna mainly do normal travel and travel to different places, but I think in the future, I would love to go to a country and then like meet some of you guys and we can do like a trip together and I think that would be a fun way to meet each other but TwitchCon I just find the whole TwitchCon scene a little bit I find it difficult because usually the streamers stick to each other and they like create content with each other which is not a bad thing at all but I really do like to see my community and I prioritize that a lot more than I guess interacting with other streamers because no offense I just don't really care <laughs> What are my goals this year of 2023? This year, I really wanna focus on just bettering myself as a person. I know that might sound like a cliche, but I just wanna focus on making sure that 
I'm happy and project my happiness onto other people and just be confident in who I am. So therefore posting more on Instagram, not caring about what people say about me or their judgments because obviously people are gonna judge me and they might not know me or I might come across a certain way but I just wanna care less about that and just start sharing my happiness and my love for life online and doing different things. YouTube is definitely something that I want to focus on and what I get up to on a daily basis because obviously you just see me playing my video games, you don't get to see me in real life but I want to be able to document the other stuff that I get up to and involve you all as much as possible. I think for the future I would love to have a balance between YouTube and streaming because I don't think I'd ever want to stop streaming because I love my community too much and I love the banter that we have with each other and like the relationships that I've built in streaming. I literally have such a deep love for my community and the people that join my stream on the daily and like the inside jokes that we all have like it really means a lot. For me, I think my community is the reason that I've streamed for so long because I really just like the people that I get to hang out with on a daily basis. But I would love to challenge myself and travel more and um, stream off my gaming laptop with MSI. But also then when I'm not streaming, create content on YouTube, on Instagram and show other parts of my life and have a bit of a more healthy relationship when it comes with the outside world and the inside world because I spend pretty much, I'm not joking, 90% of my day indoors. I spend, so yeah, that's my plan and I think that's what will make me super happy. But that is all my questions. That's all the questions that you had. Well, no, there was more, there was like other stuff that was pretty weird, like, will you marry me? And I'm like, huh. <laughs> but other than that, these are pretty much like the most frequently asked questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got a bit more of an insight about myself and things that I'm gonna do in the future. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, bye.